Hello and welcome back to Broken Sword. Uh, I just want to apologize in advance. My neighbor, this so if my voice doesn't really hold up today, it hasn't been very good, but I'll do my best. And we will talk to this old lady. Mamzelle Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? Oh, just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. What? That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called John Mark, oh. who runs a patisserie in Le Tuquet. These people were determined. Wow. Which meant they were also very dangerous. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Uh, how do I know she looks like that? But sure. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Alright, so, let's have a read. Uh, where is it? Did we read this? No, here we go. Fleur, or something, the flower seller, tells me that a girl who looked like me broke into my apartment. She must have planted a bug, which is how Plantard knew about the spiked story. Maybe Plantard was scared and wanted to talk to me, tell me what was really going on. Carchon's organization have kept me under su surveillance, but I have chosen but have chosen not to kill me. Yet, how about the costume killer? There's some kind of war going on, but I don't know how or why I am involved. So can we go back and look for this so, thing? Where yeah, have my okay. Pretty new cousin hidden her little bug, eh? I was going to have to search everywhere. Um, here maybe? My first teddy. Inside her teddy bear. Him. Undisturbed. No bugs oh, there. Okay. Um, like the phone would be kind of obvious or under the table maybe? Well, you don't have to sit down for this, but fine. What? are you doing just oh god this animation I guess maybe here it was a photograph of my father they hadn't placed the bug on the photo okay bug on this you have no messages. Hmm. Can I walk over here? No. I'm gonna check the phone then. I doubt it would be on the, like, stereo. There wasn't anyone that I needed to call. Alright, so I guess maybe in this chest. Also, how would they know, like, by just placing an audio bug, how would they know that she was writing a story about this? Like, she, she probably wouldn't have read her own story out loud, would she? Like, if she sends, I guess maybe talking to her editor, but it would make more sense for her just to say, I've got a new story, and send it in, and then he reads it and he goes like, oh wow, that that's amazing. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I guess it sort of the makes box sense. Was carved by my father. It never had a key. But that small metal disc underneath it in the chest was a recent addition. Oh. The box. The so. Egg, but the so. Oh, there it is. A small, sinister-looking metal disc had been tucked under my father's box. Oh, cher cousine, you left me a little present. You shouldn't have.
Throw it out the window. Or not. Were you... You what? don't scare me. It's best the... Huh? Okay. I guess we're done here. So let's head out and maybe talk to this lady again. Bonjour. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Um, the woman her who again. claimed to be my cousin. Could you describe her again? Well, she was your height, a day lighter than yours, but otherwise she was very like you. But with impeccable manners, of course. I bet. Alright, let's start going through every single thing, because why not? Do you know anything about this boat ticket? No, mademoiselle. I am not a tourist office. What do you think of my hair clip? Very nice. This is so one ridiculous. I might be able to afford one of those, mademoiselle. I don't suppose you're any good at unraveling codes. But for my beautiful completionist sakes, was a cryptologist for the resistance. But all I inherited were her good looks. Ever seen a safe key like this? In my business, I don't come across many safes. Take a look at this cloth. It was once very beautiful. With a little work, it could make rather a nice hat. What? I know. What? People have no respect these days, do they? Was... Wait, was that just a bug or something? Because that was not what she said. Um, no. What? No? Okay. She s shows her her hair clip and, like, a boat ticket, but she doesn't want to show a key. It wouldn't be sensible to let her know about Carchon. I guess not. What do you think of this carving? It's nice, but I wouldn't flash it around this neighborhood. What do you make of this message? It will take you on a journey that begins where it ends. In laughter and in tears, in sadness and in joy. Oh, well, that's not you vague at all. from this paper. No, it's from a song I heard it on the radio this morning. What do you think of this shell case? I think whoever stopped that one must have a sore bottom. I took this stone cylinder from a safe. Interesting. What? Let what is me give you telling her that? Of advice. If you ever want to know what is written on it, you should smear it with paint and then roll it on paper. What? It's a gift, mademoiselle. I never question it. Oh, okay. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. So I guess she's kind of psychic? Kind of? Maybe? Possibly? Um, can we just go? We can. Where should we go? The cafe? Carchon's residence? Is this probably where we were? Yeah, okay. Let's go to Carchon's, I guess. Because I don't think it we should go here. by wires. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't that after all. Maybe it was a cell phone transmitter. I would be obliged if you did not touch the art, mademoiselle. That was a very American art. Just your average modern art retaining wire. Please do not finger the wires. They are high tension titanium coated wires especially imported from Birmingham. In England. This guy was either into art or wire, or both. If they were to become freed, this superb piece of kinetic engineering would topple and fall. At the same time, the force of the recoil would take your eye out. All right. Look at the window. The smashed window hadn't been repaired yet. There was just a sheet of flimsy plastic over it. Okay, I assume we can't just go like, hey, we're a friend, let us in. A bored-looking gendarme sat staring at the sculpture. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Can I ask what you're doing? I am guarding the scene of a terrible and heinous crime. Yeah, this statue. Tell me about it. 
Oh. Well, mademoiselle, this statue is a pure and visionary statement, a comment upon man's self-imposed isolation within a debased societal framework. Not a crime, then. The only crime you will find here is the murder of the great Monsieur Carchon. No. How dramatic. I know. Here in this very building, no less, it is top secret, but according to Carchon's wife, the killer was dressed as a man. Police believe there was an accomplice, a young female oh God. journalist. Even as we speak, she is being hotly pursued up and down the land. No stone is being left unturned. Good place to look for a journalist, officer. We police are no fools. Evidently. Wait, how did how did the police know there was a journalist? Like, how would they know? Ah, uh, that doesn't make much sense, I guess. How was Monsieur Carson killed? He was shot in cold blood with a gun. Shot Why was he with a gun? A really? My own theory. Either he was mad, oh. or he was a real mime, trying to throw us all off the scent by cunningly not wearing a disguise. How long have you been in the police force? All my life, mademoiselle. It shows. Thank you. <laughs> Um, art. You must be quite an aficionado of modern art. Au contraire, I adore it. In fact, I double myself. Oh, really? I used to double myself, but I managed to quit in the end. Why would a mime kill Monsieur Carchon? He was a hired killer, I expect. Everybody knows mimes don't leave prints. Or anyone wearing gloves? Monsieur? Mademoiselle? No? Oh, what? Wait. How was Mr. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's oh. odd. Let's show him all our things. What do you think of this boat ticket? Mademoiselle, if you think taking me on a boat trip down the Seine is going to get me into bed oh, with you, Jesus. then you are mistaken. I have been trained to resist women offering boat tickets. And men, too. We are up to date on gender issues, you know. Good. That's, How that's great. How do you like a nice air clip like this? I must warn you, mademoiselle, that I have been trained to resist such improper advances. Ever see symbols like this? Only at the bottom Her voice of the body, is suddenly very different. Ha! You see what I did there? I always find a little humor breaks the ice at the crime scene. Don't you agree? Drunk jokes. Always funny. Show him a safe key. Ever seen anything like this? Oh, that's good. That's very good. You have talent, my dear. This is clearly your medium. Paint on a handkerchief or tablecloth or whatever. No. Good. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. What do you think of my elephant? Hmm. A poor piece, to be honest. Derivative. Crude. Forget about. Oh, really? I was just wondering where I should stick it. Hmm. Somewhere that doesn't get much light. That's just what I was thinking. Ho ho ho. I'd be crazy to show you. Get it? Because ah, uh, never mind. Take a look at the shell case. My god! This must be from the gun that killed no. you. No. Are you sure? I think it is from an army field gun. Ah yes, of course. The size, that's the giveaway, isn't it? And why would she have just the gun or the shell case that killed him? Ever seen one of these? Not since I was a boy. My father taught me how to whittle using a metal cylinder like that. It's I metal? that kept you quiet. <laughs> Isn't it stone? I never talked to him again. He died before I finished. So, I guess... Oh, we can't even... I guess Why we have to talk to him. You oh. Okay. There we go. So, if I go here, he'll just probably stop me. I'm sorry, mademoiselle. Yeah. This is a crime scene, and I cannot permit you to pass beyond this point. So nothing really happened here, but being thorough, I hope you don't mind. Let's go to the cafe. So is this before or after we met? No, it's probably after, yeah, because, yeah, it's after, because he just called us. I mean, George. There was a small door set into the entrance gates. But nothing to say who lived there. The door was locked.
It was the kind of ancient phone beloved of French workmen. I was surprised they still use them. I didn't need to call anyone. The Hello. workman looked about as eager and helpful as your average road digger. Hello, could I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. It's late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. Um, wait, who is that? Is that the... Uh, I can't Tell remember. Tell me, are you related to the oh, workman right, I saw digging the hole? Don't talk to me about flabage. Pah! Okay. He just won a fortune on the horses and he won't give me a cent. Well, it's his money. When he was broke, he was happy to touch me for a loan. Brothers should look after each other, he used to say. He's changed his tune now he's brassed up. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. The heroes who pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best smile and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. Uh, just give me a minute to do my hair. Um, so can I just walk in now? Probably, yeah. The police had removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. Uh, I should probably talk to him more. Wait, I'm just gonna save on this save. And just walk out. Hey, what were you doing in there? Oh, just checking the light for your photo? Ah, of course. All right, Hello? let's talk to him again. Yes. Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. You see this ticket? Are you trying to bribe me? No. I don't blame you, of course. Good-looking fella like me. Would you like this air clip? What do you take me for? Everyone here is pretty arrogant. Some kind of a... Pervert? What? He wouldn't be interested in a substitution cipher. Would you recognize this? That is the key to a safe. A warren especially, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know how I could get the paint out of this cloth? What do you think this is? Household tips week? He wouldn't be interested. Do you know this man? He looks like a nasty piece of work. I had an uncle who was with the fascists, but we never talk about him. What happened to him? How should I know? We never talk about him. Clever. Do you like this coffee? It's the kind of thing you pick up for a couple of euros at Les Puces de saint ouen Look at this secret message. Very nice. But it's not secret now, is it? It's just a message. What do you think of my shell case? Are you in the scrap business? Of course not. Pity. I've got some rubbish just like that I need to get rid of. Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you think I am? A plumber? What? That doesn't make any sense. So the body's been removed? I certainly hope so, or it'll stink to high heaven when they take down these boards. Shouldn't you check? Are you kidding? They don't pay me enough to put up boards, let alone check for dead bodies. I need to take the some jokes pictures. in this game. Of they're course. like not good just enough to laugh moment. at, but not bad enough to like just pass over. Jeez, I don't know how to react when all these bad jokes just bombard you. Let's have some alcohol. It was a brandy bottle. Take it. Some journalists drink on the job. Damn it. Not me. Yeah, this is the part where I, uh, that I re recognized or remembered. Aha! Uh -huh. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. 
move the table. Behind or the not. table were some damaged pipes. Now I'd seen it in the mirror, I could make out something behind the pipes. Voila! The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind it's not of really pouch hidden, so pouch not a very good investigation. Organization. I was on the right track. All right, on the check pouch it out. was the cross symbol of Cochon's organization. Inside the pouch were two items. A strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. The artifact had a sword laid across scales. There was a picture of Lady Justice on the lock panel in the room below the conciergerie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is probably to open the painting thing in that room. So I guess we're going back there. Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon. But, wait. Oh, different symbols. Ah, oh, damn it. Well... I guess we'll saw this. Match all the symbols. Yep. Go back and reset. Alright. So, um, is that just one character or two? Uh, where is that? Oh, that's, is that an apostrophe? And then, that, so that might be like S? I'll, I'll try that. S, maybe? Um... That might be like sun. I'm gonna assume it is. Because that's what you have to do to solve these. Just assume things and see how they work out. Um, wait, no, this is not right. Because uh, that looks like it would be Pierre again. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna stop that. Wait, can I... Uh, how do I... Alright, uh... Yeah, that must be Pierre, so... P... I... Uh, where's that symbol? There. Oh, E. And then R. Oh, Vier! No, not Vier! P! There we go. Murderer some something. So M U and then D. Must probably. Hmm. From maybe. Followed. Plantard. Pierre killed. Murderer must have followed trail from something. Alright, I'll do that first. Plantard. Have then have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Plantard. Must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. Oh, so geez. much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. And for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story. Whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. 
So why did Imelda, like, give us the key and allow us to investigate if she didn't want to? Or did she? I don't know. Kind of confusing, but we'll see how it plays out. Let's read the journal. Um... Here we go. The police missed evidence in the cafe. Not that I am surprised. Found a pouch with another coded letter and a strange metal object with a familiar symbol. Decrypted, decrypted the message. It was written to Plantard by Imelda. She was clearly part of the organization and lied to me. Her front was a complete sham. She w w whams? Warns. That looks like, like an M. She warns Plantard that the murderer will come after them. Plantard must have already wanted to tell me. Must have really wanted to tell me or show me something. So, I think I should probably end it off here, but uh, I'm assuming that... Hey! Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, yeah. Uh, camera. Oh, I forgot. It broke. I love. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, Taking this woman photos? Fooled him easily enough. And found the evidence the police had missed. Well done. I'm just gonna save. Because I'm not sure if there's anything in the alleyway. I'm just gonna quickly check. If there is anything, then I'll end it there. Otherwise, I'll... I'm assuming we're gonna get to the the place that I'm not gonna try to pronounce again. The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. The drain pipe had been pulled from the wall. Some idiot had clearly tried to climb it. Some idiot. From the stench, the hole obviously led down to the sewers. There might have been clues down there. But I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Yeah, okay. So if we go here now, we should be able to... The strange metal artifact yeah. I found in Plantard's pouch had pointed back to the quayside. So now we're back here. And this is a good place to end it. So, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see what's behind the painting next time. Bye-bye!